Hey guys, it's July 25th. This is peak seagrass season. And what I've been hearing all over the lagoon area is that uh, a lot of people are seeing seagrass. They're seeing good bottom. I'm in an area just uh, north of the moorings. And that's uh, just uh, south of Vero. And if you look at this water from here, it looks pretty good. A lot of color, but I'm seeing these big clunks of algae. You can see right over here floating in the water. And uh, I'm not sure how much of this on the bottom is algae growth or how much is seagrass growth. But I did want to check this area out. I heard there's an area somewhere near here is just lush, lush seagrass. I haven't found that spot yet. But I did want to check this place out. It looks super interesting. The water's clear, thank goodness. We hadn't had no major water discharges. So um, I'm going to get in there. I'm going to put on the mask and uh, see what I can see. Well, what I found on this flat, there is shoal grass growing, but it's being covered up with this nasty algae. I'm not sure exactly what kind it is. You see a little bit of piece of shoal grass sticking out there, but it's it'll blanket the grass and suffocate it. And there's clunks of this floating down the uh, intercoastal. So um, I'll do a little research, find out what kind of uh, algae it is, and it's I'm sure it's one that happens during the summer when it gets hot and with the nutrient load that sometimes will take over but i'm still looking for a lush seagrass bed that's around here somewhere a friend of mine told me about so i'm going to drive around a little bit more i might head down south check out a spot or two and then head back toward vero and uh, see what's going on and then in the next day or two i will be back at black point that's kind of like my center point and see how well it's done over the last month well i'm over near harbor branch and uh, which is uh, just um, between Vero and Fort Pierce. Beautiful area, and this area one time was just absolutely gorgeous with seagrass. It's looking pretty good here. What caught my eye is these sandy spots. The sandy spots, and you got these dark spots, and it looks like seagrass, but uh, I need to get in and really check this area out. It's, it looks good and see if that algae is growing here also. That could be a big concern. So get in the water. Let's see what I find. Tell you what, that was, that was a cool dive, man. Um, again, over by Harbor Branch, uh, water's three, four foot deep. There's grass, you know, two foot and, uh, I don't know if it's algae growing on the grass or something, but uh, it wasn't as green. It had like this brownish stuff on it. It might be a, a slight algae growing on it. I don't know. I will find out and uh, and I will let you know. But I didn't see that clumpy al algae that I saw further toward Vero. So that was a good sign. And I saw a lot more bait fish in the grass. And I saw a dread, uh, black drum. That was really cool. He's just in a little hole there in, in, in the grass just sitting there. and. Uh, that's super encouraging, man. I haven't seen that in a long time, so. Getting a little windy, but I'm gonna go in here and check out a few more spots. Then I'm gonna head back to Vero and see if I can find that big grass flat my friend was telling me about. Well, I'll tell you what, the water here toward Fort Pierce, it's beautiful, it really is. Lots of grass, algae's popping up. The further you get to north to Vero, the more algae that you do see, but the water quality is still pretty good until you get to those two bridges between Vero and the waters. The usual muddy, dirty in that area, but um, my areas of concern right now is the algae that's growing. Now, can this algae smother the seagrass? You know, that could be one concern. I am going to be checking with uh, one of the biologists I know, find out exactly what kind of algae it is, if this is normal, if it's a sign of pollution or whatever, and just kind of educate myself and also educate you. So uh, that'll be my next video. Till next time, this is Pete Hink. Thanks for watching.